In problem number 45 of section 3.1, we're given that a force is acting on a particle in such a way that its velocity is e to the negative t, or velocity at time t is e to the negative t. And we're asked, well, what is the limit of the distance the particle has traveled on the interval 0 to some time t1 greater than 0 as t1 approaches infinity? So in other words, as the time, as time goes on, does is the distance that the particle has traveled, does it have some limiting value? Right, well, the distance traveled by the particle, by definition, um, is just equal to the integral from 0 to t1 of the absolute value of the velocity, which is equal to the integral from 0 to t1 of um, absolute value of e to the negative t dt. But e to the negative t is always positive for all values of t, actually, and definitely for uh, values of t greater than 0. Uh, so this is just the integral of um, from 0 to t1 of e to the negative t dt. And of course, this is uh, just equal to negative e to the negative t um, evaluated from 0 to t1. So that's, uh, now I have negative e to the negative t1 minus Ne minus negative e to the 0. So this just becomes e to the negative t1 uh, plus 1. So that's the distance traveled between time equals 0 and time equals 1. What we're asking is, well, what, is, what about if t1 is approach, approaching infinity? What is that distance? So what we really want is the limit as t1 approaches infinity of the distance traveled. The distance is um, just e to the negative t1 plus 1. Well, as t1, uh, this first term here is 1 over e to the t1. So you can see as t1 gets bigger and bigger, the denominator is going to get larger and larger. And this first term is actually just going to go to 0. So the limit as t1 approaches um, infinity is actually just equal to 0, or excuse me, is just equal to 1.